Other things may be a little bit harder, but acids will in general affect most substances that you put into one degree or another. So when we eat food, that's the first line of breaking it down. Our hydrochloric acid in there is breaking things down and it passes into your gut and does all the things that your bodies do. That is why acids corrode things. When we say acids cause burns, we're not talking about holding a flame and burning it from heat like that. We're talking about a chemical burn. And a chemical burn is basically that your skin or whatever has, has partially reacted with something and electrons have been uh, changed and moved around. So it behaves in a burn sort of because it's like a violent rearrangement of, of your atoms and electrons, but it's not due to heat or a flame. It's due to a chemical reaction with an acid. So even though the phosphoric acid in soda is really is an acid and can hurt you theoretically, the concentration is quite low. And once you drink it, it gets diluted even further by the contents of your stomach. The body is evolved to handle a variety of foods and beverages, including acidic ones, without sustaining damage. Now, some people might argue that drinking too much Coke or soda in general can cause other issues, and they're not entirely wrong. Coca-Cola contains caffeine. It can stimulate the stomach to produce more acid. For most people, this isn't a problem. But for some people that have conditions like acid reflux or ulcers, it can exacerbate and make worse the symptoms. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.